Okay, today I'm going to show you guys how to build uh, some sawhorses. Um, sawhorses are handy, they're good to have on the job. Nobody wants to get down and work in the dirt, mud, or on concrete. Everybody wants to stand up and work. So I'm going to show you guys how to build some sawhorses with, uh, how, I did figure it while ago, how many foot of two before. Not very many. I don't remember. We'll think we'll figure it up as we go, and I'll tell you. But I mean, these saw horses, well, I've built several of them. They last. Uh, keep them inside out of the weather. They last even longer. Um, we stack a bunch of weight on them, and they don't move. Uh, like when we build metal buildings, we'll set the uh, stacks of metal on top of two saw horses, and pick them up off that and put them on the building. So they're really strong. I, we'll, we'll test how strong they are. I got a skid loader here. We'll uh, see if I can't pick up the skid loader, the bucket, put the bucket on top of the sawhorse and pick it up without breaking it. I don't know if it will or not, but I guess we need to find out before I tell you they're really strong. Okay, I'm gonna show you. I got a miter on 10, a bevel on 10. So I pull off the long point, however long you want your legs. So it'd be long point to short point, short point to long point, vice versa, they'd be the same measure. It seems like when you're trying to make it a certain height, you need to make the legs about a half inch taller than what you want it to be. Um, so say I wanted this to be, I think that's 37 inches here. If I wanted to make something that was flush with this, I'm pretty sure if I remember right, uh, I would make those at 37 and a half.
Okay, I want to talk to you guys about the difference in screws and nails, other than the obvious. Uh, you can't pull that screw out. Like, you would tear your board up before you got that screw out. That nail will pull out. But, if you take and hit that screw, chances are it's going to shear off. That nail will work back and forth and you won't be able to shear it off. But you'll be able to, to pull it out or break it off one or the other. But you know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean. And that's why when I do rafters <clears throat> nail to the top plate I use both screws and nails uh, like if we're doing a metal roof and we strip it with two before's I use screws and nails usually two two nails and one screw or something like that okay like I said the 10 degree bevel and miter on your legs that's basically what I think I've do, done different than other people maybe not when I looked up on uh, Google like how to make saw horses guys were putting a miter cut here and that's it um, you look there the bottom of the board is flat on the ground and these don't come out just one way that way and they come out the other way that way um, anyway cool thing about these you can stack them on top of each other when you're not using them it takes up less space um, and again I want to uh, test them out. So, like I said, I got a, hang on, I got a Bobcat. Can't remember the numbers. I think it's a T870. Yes, it's a muddy mess here. T870. That thing weighs, I think, 13,000. So, if I put the bucket down on top of these and push itself up, how much weight would that be? You engineers out there, figure that out. But for, I don't know, 30 minutes of labor, and you know, the most expensive part going in these are the, is the wood, which I have about, uh, one, two, three, about 48 foot, two before. I had, uh, I think I used three 16 footers. No, well, actually I had another 10 footer in there. So about almost 60 foot, two befores. And about 30 minutes of time. And your guys will love you forever. If you build them some, make them build some. Because it's a hell of a lot easier working off something like that than off the ground. So let's put these guys to the test.
Hey, I watched that footage of uh, me putting the skid loader on top of those uh, saw horses, and I'm not real happy with that test. Um, it was coming at, you know, when you push down on it, it was also bringing them back towards the lift. That's really not fair. Um, usually when you set something on saw horses, it's coming straight down, not down and pressure back. And uh, it hurts some cracking and stuff, but hell, they're still good. Um, so I need to find something to just set on them. Like a backhoe. I think I know where to get one of those. We can put the bucket on it then push straight down and that would be a little better representation of of the strength but uh, I mean nonetheless it still took a lot of pressure and uh, I mean I don't know what you guys want to set on your saw horses but that had to be a few thousand pounds at least but anyway uh, that's how you build saw horses or that's how I build saw horses if you guys have a different way of building them that's cost effective and easy to do and something you can just throw together on any job site let me know uh, I'd be willing to try them out but I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for for something new to learn how to do or a different way of doing things but thanks for watching uh, like subscribe all that good stuff and have a good day